वेलकम टू द पर्द डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ बी एल डी सी मोटर ड्राइवर सोलर पी वी आर एफ एड वाटर पंपिंग सिस्टम एम्प्लॉय इन द जिटा कन्वर्टर सो हियर वी आर रनिंग ऑफ दिस बी एल डी सी वाटर विच वॉज अटैच टू द वाटर पंपिंग मेकानिजम सो दिस वन इज अ वाटर इनलेट दिस वन इज वाटर इनलेट एंड इज अ वाटर आउटलेट सो द बी एल डी सी मोटर विल बी ड्रिवेन बाई द ए सी सिग्नल एज वी नो दैट सो वी नव टू कन्वर्ट द डी सी टू ए सी वाई बिकॉज वी आर यूजिंग द सोलर पी वी आर ए the generator voltage is given as input to the uh, 12 volt 7 amp battery pack uh, which is rechargeable battery so this battery pack consists of 7 uh, 12 volt 1 amp batteries and each sub battery pack consists of 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries so here we can see that 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series so we will get 12 volt 1 amp and totally 7 batteries are in parallel so we will get 12 volt 7 amp is a main output voltage After this battery pack, that is the input to the jeta converter. So coming to the jeta converter explanation, uh, the main purpose of the jeta converter is which will reg uh, regulate the input unregulated voltage to constant regulated output voltage. So what is the need of the uh, conversion of unregulated to regulated? Those we are providing the DC, which is a regulated one only. So what is the purpose of jeta converter here? Why? Because when we are running a BLDC motor. this will generate the harmonics and which will take the more power then whenever the battery voltage is given as uh, direct source input to this uh, vsi converter so there is chance of harmonic generation then the fluctuation will be occurred at the input voltage level so the performance of the bldc motor will be decreases so in order to provide the that constant voltage while we are running the bldc motor then we need to uh, con keep constant the input voltage to this vsi converter this is voltage source inverter so in order to maintain the constant voltage as a regulated voltage we are making use of this zeta converter so which will making use of uh, two capacitors and one inductor with one diode and one mosfet and two other coupling capacitors so here this mosfet is used to maintain the regulated power supply by taking input from this battery voltage so which will uh, provide the trigger pulse from this peak 16f 72 microcontroller so which will taking care of provide the signals to the jeta converter as well as the output of the jeta converter which is a regulated voltage is input to the voltage source inverter which is used to convert the dc 12 volts to ac 12 volts of three phase so we are using a three phase so like uh, a b c phases for this a bldc motor so after that when we provide that we have attached this total motor setup to the uh like pumping mechanism so which will take the input from this pipe and output to that so there we provided the two uh, charging sources one is the solar panel so we are providing 12 volt 5 watts input to this charging circuit there we can see the led indication this solar panel will provide a 12 volts but coming to the rated voltage it can provide up to maximum of 16 to 17 volts as the charging voltage of our battery is 14.5 volts and that is parallelly through this charging circuit to the battery coming to this charging circuit there we can see the four diodes uh, which are acting as a polarity corrector when we provide the dc input here when we are providing the ac input because whenever there is no sunlight is available in order to charge a battery during night times then we can use this transformer directed to the 12 volts ac input sorry 12 volts ac input to this transformer which will step down the 230 volts to 12 volts of ac and input to this regulated power supply board which will convert the ac to pure dc after the two stages those are like rectification and filtration here these four diodes will act as a polarity corrector here rectifier ac to dc so polarity corrector means if we connect the solar panel in reverse direction means reverse polarity if we don't place these four diodes so plus of the solar panel is given as input to the minus of the battery then solar panel or battery may get damaged so in order to protect that we need to convert that reverse polarity to constant polarity plus to plus and minus to minus so then we will get the voltage of dc constant with regulated connections so that is the purpose of this charging circuit at this section and then there are another two diodes are there so these two diodes purpose is whenever the battery is getting fully charged it will become the high potential then the solar panel then we can protect that solar panel from the battery by placing these two diodes which will act as a 
unidirectional current flow means these two diodes will allow the current flow from the solar panel to the battery same here also two diodes so next the output of this uh, battery is input uh, through this switch to the zeta converter and parallelly to the microcontroller as operating voltage when we switch on the gate this led will uh, blinks two times then after it keep on producing the signals to this mosfets and here also six mosfets coming to the mosfet ratings we are using irf z44 n mosfets we are using coming to the inductor rating 200 micro henry and capacitor sir 1000 micro farad uh, sorry 2200 micro farad of 25 volts and this one is 1000 micro farad and this one is the 18 volts ceramic capacitor and the diode is 10 amp diode so hold us with the demonstration just we on the power supply so as you can see that the system is pumping water to that so the main purpose is like we can use this project in our agriculture application without any uh, utilization of grid power supply directly using solar pv array to charging of the battery and whenever we require to control the water pumping system directly we can run through this bldc motor so here the main difference between the bldc motor and pmdc motor pmdc motor will work for low uh, life span coming to the PMDC motor, uh, BLDC motor can work for more lifetime than the B uh, PMDC motor.